Wish I could go somewhere a little warmer. Hmm. So I'm with Justin from Fish and Dive Hawaii, How's baby. It guys? Hey. Aloha. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna go diving. Look at how beautiful this is. Man, the water is super clear. This is not even like California at all. But I'm super excited. I'm about to go spear fishing. Well, at least try. Look at this water and my feet. We're about to come out here to this cove and I'm gonna dive a little bit. Gotta, gotta practice. And then we're gonna actually go past some of these breaker waves that are, that are right in the middle. It's a little channel that goes out and we're gonna dive to the left of it. Here, let me show you guys. So right behind me is the channel I was telling you guys about, look. So it's a channel that goes from right here and then we're gonna go past these breakers right here and then we're gonna dive to the left behind me. Let's go check that out and see how the water looks. But from here, oh my God, beautiful. Even the rocks are beautiful. Look at how blue this water looks. And this, I heard, is already a little, a little murky. But I mean, compared to, compared to California, Northern California, or at least around San Francisco, this is nice. Like, you see where it kind of gets deeper right there? There's gonna be fish all right here, like some coles and stuff that we can shoot. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones that we can fry up for sure. Nice. The coles are smaller, right? Yeah, they're like small. I'm pretty sure they're called yellow yellow eye tang or something. But before days, like the Hawaiian, the royalty used to be used to be the only ones that could eat them. Huh. Okay. So they're like super like delicate fish yeah. to eat. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited to try. You'll see, dude. It's bomb. It's yeah. bomb. Like you don't. You, if we didn't have put any dress or any like seasoning on top, it'd come out just as good. Wow. There's some divers over there. Just came out. Just a plant. It grows wild all on the beaches and stuff. But obviously, this is kind of intentional. Yeah. But it's kind of like that furry material on top of the plant. What you do is you break it in half, and then you rub that in. You just wet the mask a little bit, and you're gonna rub that all on the inside, and then just dip it in water. And make sure all the leaves are outside of it Proud, and you're yeah. good to go nice yeah it works better than spit toothpaste any of that stuff man you guys ready let's go even just getting in the water i was amazed by how much wildlife was around i mean i just saw all kinds of fish swimming under me
So I'm looking around under these rocks and near these rocks to see if I could see any goatfish that are darting in and out of these holes. Here we see a holy holy, or it's also known as a Hawaiian flagtail fish. So I didn't spear any fish today for a couple reasons. One is because I actually didn't know, I wasn't quite sure exactly what fish are legal and what fish aren't. And there was one time when Justin waved me to a fish, actually, and I should have took the shot. I should have. For sure that was a legal fish. And my fins didn't fit. I borrowed these from Justin. He gave me some fins. And so there was no way I was diving. And so we kind of had to stay shallow. He might have a fish, I'm not sure. He went out deeper and there's no way I was kicking with those fins. he has any fish oh yeah yeah he caught some fish there it is he's, he's actually just got back in so let's go let's go let's go check it out what's up Jess what you catch I just saw uh, um, two wall and a little cooler right here so Perfect that's for, like some fried action right now so that's a uh... And what is that? So this is a tuwal, so this is a um, black tail snapper. It's actually an invasive, so. Beautiful. Black tail snapper and then yellow eye tang right there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, super nice fish. So these good are good eating too. These are good fried? Fried is, is a good way. You can you can steam these too, but I prefer them fried. Uh, the goldfish, I like steaming more, but. Yeah. What are we about yeah, to do right now? Too. Fry it up. Yeah, boy. <laughs> when I was looking for the, for the mimpachi, this, the twa swam right up to me, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of a death wish. Plus two, like with invasives, like even if you don't eat them, it's good to just take them off the reef because they just destroy all of the, yeah. all of the native, native fish over here. Yeah. 
So a lot of the spearfishing tournaments that we have out here, um, they're mostly invasive tournaments. So there's hardly any like game fish that that you get rewarded for in the diving tournaments. It's always trying to see how much invasives you can catch. Picture goatfish. Goatfish are like the main targets that we go for in Hawaii. Goatfish, parrotfish, um, all the whole fish like um, the hole hole, which are uh, Hawaiian flagtails. You have minpachi, which are soldier fish. Um, Alaihi, which are squirrel fish. So whole fish, parrotfish, all the trevallies, of course, and then um, goatfish are like the main targets we go for. Mm -hmm. The black ones are just regular tangs, I'm pretty sure, but these are just, um, these are cold as a yellow eyed. But back in the days, only like royalty were able to eat these. Yeah, but the twa is pretty big. This is a decent sized one. Yeah, that's, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's about a pounder. I think the record is like five pounds. Right. I know you're from Hawaii, man. I got shoes on. This dude got no shoes on. Stepping on rocks. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and clean these fish off in this tide pool here. We're gonna scale it, gut it, fry it up, baby. Cool, eh? Interesting, they got these spines right here. They got these, interesting, it's like, oh, they graze kelp, huh? Yeah. I, you could tell because they have these little feathers right here. Not feathers, but. Like yeah, yeah, like right on their mouth. For the mouth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all like kelp. Are these sea urchins edible? Is it flat? Yeah. 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 It's edible? Yeah. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to get it out then. Is it is it illegal to use a knife? No. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Got some uni. Got some <laughs> uni, baby. Put this guy in my pocket. Yes, sir. About to cook these guys up right now. I'm gonna try that sea urchin. This is. What kind of sea urchin is this? They're not. Um, it's called Vana over here. Oh, okay. A this is Vana, exactly what you're. Yeah. 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 There's a specific name for this one. But we just call them we call sea urchins Vana over here. These guys up, baby. With this backdrop. Yep. Let's smash it upside down. In the next video, I'll show you guys how diverse these vana or hawaiian sea urchins can be I'm, I'm pushing on the teeth probably push that straight out these guys their teeth are strong they graze rocks and they bore holes into rocks so they could stay there and live there oh look i pushed <laughs> pushed the teeth out that teeth out but the uni is all up in there I'm gonna put my finger in there just my pinky try to get everything out I just want to try this because you know I've had uni in California a couple pieces right there they're small here it is versus California uni Let's try it. Whoa. Way different. Yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, this is actually really good. I like this better. <laughs> it's less creamy. I don't know why. The texture is actually like super intact. Really? It's almost like it's almost like fish roe. <laughs> Weird. Lola. I've never had it that, yeah. like that. That's like the best one that we eat over here too. Whoa, that's actually pretty good. You want some of this or? It's all you do. It's all me. All right. Yeah, you. Get it while you can. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, has little, little balls like fish row. Weird. All right, man. <laughs> Interesting, that's really good though. I like it. I like it a lot. Onto the fish, baby, let's go. Let's cut it down like that. That allows the flavors to get in. Pretty there much now. get inside. The fish cooks more evenly. I'm hungry. Get some garlic salt and some pepper. Yeah. Super simple fried job right now. Plus I got some Hawaiian salt. This is just your regular sea salt, but just adds that much more flavor. First one going in. Yeah. <laughs> looking at that. Finished product. Oh man. I know. That's a snapper. It's a snapper right here. Let's scope it out. Oh, I just Ready. grabbed some bones. But, yeah. Alright, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Alright, man. Here we go. Mm. Oh, oh it? that's really good. Yeah? Mm hmm. <laughs> the skin is the best part right here. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's not like rockfish, but it has a really distinct taste though. I can't I can't put my thumb on it. It's softer than rockfish, not as flaky. See, I've never had rockfish, so yeah. it's kind of hard to compare it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's wild. The snapper is really good. You'll see this one is a little more flaky. Try this one right here. This is the cold egg. Oh, it's more flaky? Yeah. You'll even when you grab the meat, you'll be able to tell. So the cole is a uh, is what Hawaiian royalty, right? Yeah, you see eat. used to eat and so like the any, only people that were allowed to eat that. Pretty much. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. That one's good off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, and that skin? Ooh, and the seasoning? Mm hmm. Works out perfect. Let me lift the entire fish up to show you guys. These are the fish that he was telling us about that were reserved for Hawaiian royalty only. And back in the day, if you ever got caught eating this fish, you would be killed immediately on the spot. I don't want to drop it, but. Man, man. Oh, yeah. That's all you right there. See, I think to all it tastes just like chicken. With that well, like salt, pepper. Hmm. Yeah, I can, see that. I can see that. <laughs> it does kind of taste like chicken. Yeah, of course, it's a different texture, texture of fish, but no. it tastes like chicken. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, really good. If you guys like this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and share with your friends. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to stay up to date because in my next video, I'll show you more views of Hawaii, beautiful beaches, the landscape, types of sea life we come across, and me spearing my first fish on a three-prong spear. And also, big shout out to Justin or Fish and Dive Hawaii, really knowledgeable and super informative videos and make sure to check out his channel. I've linked in the description. Till next time, y'all. Peace.